In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the two bits of free software that you need for this course on a Mac. If you're not working on a Mac, then just jump straight on to the next video. Now, as I've mentioned before, we're going to be using Chrome as our browser for this course. If you use a different browser, such as Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari, then you're welcome to carry on with that browser, but I'd recommend switching to Chrome because then you'll see exactly the same as what I'm showing you here on the videos. So to get Chrome, just type download Chrome into Google and click on the top result and you'll get to this page. Click on the blue download Chrome button and then accept and install. That will then download the file to install Chrome and then you just click on that and go through the process. I can't do that for you because I've already got Chrome installed but it's pretty straightforward. All right, so now you've got Chrome up and running, we're going to install our second bit of software, which is called Brackets. And this is our text editor that we're going to be using very much to edit text. So you can see what it looks like there. We've got some very nicely indented and colored code there, and we're going to be writing code that looks just like that. As with Chrome, there are a number of different text editors out there, and if you use a different one and you like that one, then just stick with it. But if you've never used a text editor before, then use brackets. It's a very good one, and it's what I'll be using in the course. So to download it, just go to brackets.io in your browser, and I would click the Download Brackets Without Extract button. You probably don't want Extract. Have a little scroll down and see what Extract does. If you want to, it's free, but we won't be using it in this course. So to keep things simple, I'd go for the without extract option. And then as before, when it's completed the download, we're just going to click on that and run through the install process. It doesn't take very long. So we're just verifying the DMG file, which is going to install the app for us. And then when it's done, you should get the option to drag brackets into your applications, which will then complete the install process. Doesn't take very long. All right, now that's completed. I'm going to use command space to open up Spotlight and just start typing brackets and it should pop up. There it is. So there's brackets and here it is. So this is our text editor that we're going to be working with and here's a sample file that it starts off with and a note about usage statistics, which I personally think is fine. And here we've just got a sample HTML file, which we can ignore for now. And one change I'm going to make before we start writing some HTML is to get rid of this sidebar on the left. So I'm gonna do that using hide sidebar. And that just gives me a bit more room to work with. You can do the same if you like. And if you wanted to look exactly the same as me, I'd recommend that. But there we go, you now have Chrome and Brackets, which are the only two bits of software that you need for this course. And we'll start from an empty page on Brackets in the next lecture. See you there.